What's going on guys, Sam here, and I'm making this video to teach you how to make your own LUTs. So I've been getting so many views, likes, and comments on my three LUT packs that I thought it was about time that I teach you how to make your own. So for example, this one here has over 50,000 views with over 550 likes. This one here, 32,000 views with over 600 likes. And then this one here with over 25,000 views and over 600 likes. And you know, they get a ton of comments in these Dropbox uh, download pages as well. So I thought I may as well, and we got to use it right here now viewing it. So I thought I'd teach you guys how I make them and maybe you can do your own process and tweak it a little bit and make your own. I've been running around all day, picking these flowers for you. I swear you don't appreciate all the things I'm doing for you. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So I actually make mine here in Photoshop. So using the whole Adobe suite, um, Photoshop is super powerful. Obviously you know that you can edit photos really well, um, but it's also good for coloring and you can export the LUT back into Premiere and use into Premiere. And that's what I've been doing with all of my LUT packs. So basically you just wanna take a still frame from uh, a video that you're gonna work on. So for example, I'll just export this one. Um, and then you just bring it into Photoshop here. So if I just go to my desktop to the LUT pack that I'm gonna be working on and selling, um, you just basically drag it into here. So before you get started, you wanna make sure that it's a locked background layer, which this already is. And by default, it should be. Um, you wanna have this adjustment window up here. So if that's not here, you can just come to window adjustments, which is up here, make sure that's checked and then you can get working. So all of these tools are what you can use to make your LUTs. So basically normally I'll start with a bit of levels and you know, you can just add some of that contrast back in, you can just tweak around and basically you just play around with what you want to do. So I'm just gonna quickly do like a lot that I would actually use on a wedding film. And then I'll show you how to go, show you guys how to export that. When I use different tools, I'll also talk you through it. So for example, levels, most of you guys will know what that is. I love using this photo filter, which just adds a bit of warmth. I'll bring that down a little bit. Um, but stuff like that is super simple. And then you can move to stuff like selective color, which I use a lot. So for example, say this grass is a little bit green, a little bit yellow. I want that to be super orange and super warm. So we can just bring that out. See that? Wow, that's insane. Look at the power of Photoshop right now. So you can kind of just trial and error and have a play. Like I'm gonna bring that down, make it a bit, but you can also see here, it is messing with their skin tones. So you don't wanna play with it too much. Um, let me just bring that back. So you can also, once you do an adjustment layer like that, you can also bring it down so you can work on it and then just tweak it after that. So you can see I'm affecting the trees right now. So you can make cool stuff like greener greens and I'm gonna make some, a lot pack that has like tools like that'll bring out the blue of the sky, the green of the trees, make stuff warm, stuff like that. So that'll all be in my premium lot pack that'll be bringing out soon, but I will show you guys how to do that right now. So this is a super powerful tool. This is probably my favorite tool for making LUTs because um, you can just really dial something in. So, you know, you could do a teal and orange kind of thing, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. You see, I'm t tealing the sky, warming up the, the field as well. So you kind of just um, play around with it a little bit. You can see I'm affecting the mountains right now. So I normally just have a quick scr scrub through and see what I'm actually affecting and then just dial that in. Um, so we're getting there, getting nice. Uh, so just to see what that's done, wow. Insane, bit of warming, just add the overall warmth and then the levels obviously. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit more indie, a little bit more faded, but then crush those blacks a little bit more. Make it kind of a little bit of a vibe. <laughs> cool. Something like that's pretty awesome, I feel. Uh, what else can we do? We can do a little bit of, uh, where did I just see it? Uh, hue and saturation. See, so I'm just going to bring the saturation down a little bit. Uh, what else have we got? You can just have a play with a lot of these. So you've also got stuff like your vibrance. You've got your normal curves. Color balance is pretty cool. And it also separates it into these three things. So you can bring out some green, etc. cetera. Um, you can just have a play. I normally just trial and error it a little bit. Uh, go off by eye. That looks. That's actually done something pretty nice too. All right, so now let's say that's our final look. That's what we want. You just come up to here and you go file, 
export and you want to come to this color lookups table. Boom. You want to do uh, like this medium 32 grid points. You want it to be a dot cube. Um, you can just call this whatever you like. This isn't actually the file name, but I like to just um, net label it too. So this was an Emily Mika still, so I know what scene it's from. Hit OK, and then it'll bring up here. Um, and this is your premium wedding LUT pack that I'm working on. So let's just say Emily Mika. Um, this isn't actually going in the pack, but it's just for an example. That'll export it out. And let's come back into Premiere now, and you can see it added onto the clip. So in the Creative tab, or you can do it in Basic Correction, you just come here, hit the Browse button. I'm gonna hit Emily and Mika, and now you can look and see it is exactly the same. So if you play it through, perfect. That is it, and in here you can also tweak it a little bit if you wanted, say if you wanted a bit more contrast, or whatever you fancy, you sharpen it up. There you go, there is a little LUT that we have now imported. So that's basically the process of making these LUTs. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can step up your color grading game with this video. I've been running around all day, picking these flowers for you. I swear you don't appreciate all the things I'm doing for you And I've been running around all day Picking these flowers for you Oh yeah I swear you don't appreciate me There really ain't that much to say Cause baby I ain't got room for a broken heart Had to throw it out no use in broken parts Had it working over time And so we broke apart I was broken down, girl So I ain't got room for you No more No more uh -uh. So I ain't got room for you Those hours for you